In today's video, a 1983 Nissan Skyline 2000 Turbo GTE X, which totally has four doors and a hatchback. G'day everyone, my name is Daniel O'Grady and I am stoked to be presenting this amazing Survivor, a car that I've seen on two occasions and I'm happy to say we get a pretty decent look at it. Most recently I saw this car at the Stance Nation Japan event held in November 2020 in Yamaguchi where it picked up an award at its very first outing. And then the first time I would ever see this car was September 23, 2019 and I remember it as if it was only yesterday. And I gotta admit yesterday is a bit foggy to be honest. However, on that occasion it was part of the gallery and the gallery is what they call the people who are visiting the show to look. It's an odd use of an English word, but anyway, the gallery. What up everyone at a car show, check this out, R30 Kablamo 5 door GT Turbo, You've got the L series 6 cylinder engine. My first time to see one of these in my life that I remember. The first one I've seen in my life that I remember. Now what was it I was just saying about my memory? Someone please remind me. Anyway, now I have the luxury of being at my computer, going through my archives, and I did indeed see another one of these earlier. I had the Tekkenman phase, black and beautiful, owned by a fellow who owns several amazing R30 Skylines. And I have already done a couple videos, but there's going to be another one in the near future, I'm certain. Let's just dive into the engine bay, shall we? Now, this is not the RS with the FJ20. This is the GT, so it has the six-cylinder inline, single overhead cam, two-liter engine, also is turboed. And I'm looking at a bit of paper right here that says 145 metric horsepower at 5,600 RPM. Yeah, such an incredible looking car, and the aftermarket wheels are giving it a nice bit of spice, I've got to say. But the real story here is the amazing condition of it. It's been stunningly maintained for a long period of time. Other distractions I see down the side of the car is that blue scribble. I'm really not sure of the origin of that. We've got uh, gold and white GT badges on the front fender. Now, very subtle but factory GT Turbo graphics on the rear doors and I did see something very similar at the end of last year on this Paul Newman Skyline exactly the same graphics of course that's a two-door just another fantastic Skyline that I'm lucky enough to get to see I've got a double punch of not so good news people one of them is real life is happening so I'm gonna cut this video short the second bit of bad news is I'm gonna hit you up for stuff uh, not stuff that's going to inconvenience you, but just please, if you do enjoy my videos, consider subscribing if you have not done so already. Also, if you do enjoy a video, please, if you would share it with your friends, that would be absolutely awesome. Also, the store.wasabicars.com, I have removed a bunch of things that I cannot ship out of Japan, but some things that can get to you are stickers because they will fit in an envelope and also t-shirts because they are manufactured outside of Japan and can get to you anywhere in the world. So that's great news. So please consider dropping by the store, subscribing if you haven't, sharing on socials. Sorry, it's a massive ask, but if you do get some value out of my vids, it would be greatly appreciated. Everyone, thank you so much for dropping by, and I'll be back next Saturday with a bigger and better video, I absolutely promise. So until then, take it easy, and see you then.